Okay, so today I'm going to do a video. I'm going to translate from French to English uh, an interview uh, about a Tok Tok concert in uh, Fourvière, uh, which is in France. It's, um, I think it's a part of Lyon. Uh, it's a city in the south, uh, f uh, not completely south, but more south than Paris uh, in France. And um, Mark Willis was interviewed there. Uh, he spoke in English. The problem is that the translator is uh, talking above Mark Willis, and a lot of people who don't speak French don't understand what he's saying. So I've been asked to translate this from French back to English, what I'm going to do. Um, otherwise, as you can see, I'm outside here and because I just wanted to show you something that I'm about to do about. When I say about it, I mean these days, not just right now. I'm very glad that the weather is not too hot. Actually, I think it's going to rain. And I'm like, you can't imagine how happy I am that it's going to rain because I, it was too hot. I was waiting for the rain so much. and. I even hope some snow, you know, if, if we had some snow, just a little, it would be nice. Anyway, I'm going to show you something that I'm going to do, uh, which is related and to my business and to Tok Tok and Mark Hollis. Actually, I try to merge the two worlds, I mean, my business and uh, my passion for music. It's not easy because it's not exactly the same thing, but I try. I'm going to move my shop uh, not very far. I just moved three meters further, which means that it's going to be the same address, the same phone number and the same website and the same everything and the same artworks and everything the same. It's just the space which will be different. Uh, it will be smaller and a little more eccentric but uh, I don't really care because uh, you know uh, my activity was really more um, on internet than actually in the physical shop and I had to reorganize my work um, according to this new way of working which is a pity because I, I love seeing people but more and more people are ordering from uh, internet and they are not coming so much at least not as much as before here is a wall uh, as you can see it's almost on the street actually it's on the street we can see it from the street uh, it's the wall it's a wall which is going to become a mural uh, I'm going to do a mural on this wall to show where I'm going to move to show to people so right now the wall is rather ugly I unfortunately didn't really have the time to paint it or to do something, but now I, I will. I'm going to do a mural related to Tok Tok. So in a few days, uh, soon, I, I can tell you exactly when, this wall will be quite different and I will uh, show you how I'm doing it and uh, I will show you the process. So as I was saying sooner I'm going to do a mural on my wall um, so my inspiration I, I couldn't finish because I have a problem with my iPhone and I, I don't know it turned off uh, alone so I have to continue now uh, you see this um, cover of it's my life uh, these are like a pieces of a puzzle and there are animals but there are also people there but i want to do only animals or mostly of course not like a puzzle really like real animals going to my new space and this gave me the idea for for that so i'm not saying that i'm going to do exactly that the, the aim is not to do a copy uh, it's just to be inspired by that because the background, the colors will be something like that. Uh, the aim is to be seen, so I'm going to be seen for sure. Anyway, um, I'm very impatient to do it and uh, I will start very soon. 
So, as I was uh, saying uh, sooner, I'm going to translate from French to English what is really weird because Marcolis is speaking in English, but it has been translated by a, a translator in French and we can't hear what he's saying. So, I will translate from French to English an interview. So, it's going to be a Marcolis interview just before the concert of the group uh, Talk Talk. Um, that night in Fourvière. That is the title of the video. The title of the video is Concert du groupe Talk Talk ce soir à Fourvière, which means um, concert, uh, Talk Talk concert this evening uh, in Fourvière. Fourvière being uh, a part of uh, Lyon, if I understood well. Also, I wanted to tell you it has been posted by Lina. So, um, Lina, it's uh, uh, I, it, I, it means the I, Ina, um, I N A. It means uh, Institut National de l'Audiovisuel. So it means it's a national institute for everything which is uh, radio and um, film, TV, uh, everything filmed. It's like where they keep everything and uh, if it's national it means that it's public it means that it belongs to the government it's uh, it's it's an official office i would say and usually you are not allowed to use pieces coming from uh, lina unless they give you the permission but here it's different because they posted this interview themselves the interview is very short you are going to see it's going to be very short and very easy okay let's do it sorry if this the french sound is not very loud it's a problem from my computer so the journalist says uh, we often say uh, that your music was influenced by groups like uh, Pink Floyd, uh, Roxy Music. She's also asking, uh, do you accept this perennity? It means durability, durability or... I think that sh she means, do you accept to have this link and this influence in your music? And she's talking about Pink Floyd and Roxy Music. <coughs> d'une influence de, de Pink Floyd bien sûr, mais aussi d'autres d'autres musiques et euh, il a il a été influencé par par des musiques qui peuvent être euh, positives ou négatives, c'est ça. So he said that he was influenced by Pink Floyd, of course, but also by other people, and it could be some positive, like uh, negative uh, music. And the translator uh, doesn't seem to be quite sure of what Marcoli said, uh, because he says, "C'est ça." It's like if he's. Uh, it means, uh, isn't it? Like if he was uh, searching for an approval from Marcoli. So uh, maybe that's not exactly what. Marcolis said, I don't know because I can't hear what says Marcolis. But anyway, if he really said that, I think that he meant that he was influenced, of course, by Pink Floyd and some music that he likes, so what is positive for him, but also negative in the sense that he knows what he doesn't want to do. I suppose that it's probably what he meant. So she's asking if uh, the um, ancient theater in Fourvière, uh, you saw it's like um, a Roman theater, a very old, you know, like uh, an antique theater, in Fourvière is going to fit with his music. She's wondering. This in this uh, theater is good for your music. Oui, c'est un théâtre comme celui-ci, c'est un de ses endroits favoris pour un concert. Il a déjà uh, he says that uh, this kind of theater is uh, his favorite place for a concert. He already played before. He said so. He said that uh, he already played in um, 1984 in a similar uh, theater 
for a concert. Et uh, si uh, le, le théâtre de ce soir est, est le concert de ce soir dans ce théâtre est aussi bon que à cette époque, il sera très très content. And he says that um, if the concert uh, that evening and the theater that evening is as good as it was in 1984, he's going to be really very happy. This is the um, introduction of the music uh, Living in Another World. Here you can see um, Marcolis is here, the journalist is there, and the man on the left was the translator. And as you can see, they are settling the, um, everything for the concert. I think that is the part uh, of the concert that I like the best when we, you must prepare everything. Not that I made concerts myself, but I already helped um, people in my family to start a concert in this kind of places. There are a lot of uh, theatre like this um, in France, but probably also in Italy or in Greece or probably in Spain too, uh, and probably in other countries, but uh, you have a lot of theatre like this. These theatres are really beautiful, they are outside, and usually the sound is really excellent. I don't know if you hear, I'm listening right now to the Pink Floyd actually, it's uh, this album, it's uh, Wish You Were Here. Why I'm playing that, first we were talking about Pink Floyd, so it seems appropriate. Then, um, I don't know if you heard the music Living in Another World, the introduction. Um, I'm not saying that it, it looks like uh, Pink Floyd, no, but there is something similar like Pink Floyd. It's, there is something, especially in this kind of place, when you put the music really loud and uh, with this ambience, it has something like sacred, I would say, and uh, I'm not religious, so I can't talk to you about religion because I don't practice anything and I'm not a religious uh, person, not really. Uh, I don't know much uh, anything about any religion. I must say that when you hear some music like that, in this kind of space, place, there is something magical and sacred and divine. And in this small interview, when we see like a, even not one minute of the music, it's like, wow, it was probably incredible. And this album, Pink Floyd, I heard it in a similar theater in 1976, yes, 1976, in Cefalu, uh, Sicilia. They were preparing an evening, uh, something, uh, a show. Uh, it was at the Mediterranean Club and uh, they were playing the music that they planned to play uh, that night and they put that music, they played that music, it was that album and I was sitting in this theatre, I was alone, uh, there was nobody, there was only the technicians working there but in the theatre on the seats there was nobody, I was alone and I heard this music that I knew, I knew what it was. And in this place, and the sound, and the music, and the blue sky, it was the day, there was some sun, and... I thought, and I was very young, and I thought that there was really something magical in some music, something that we can't explain, but which is so strong and so powerful and divine, there is something sacred and I, I tried to translate that in my paintings that I made later uh, about the door, Jim Morrison and about the who and the Isle of Wight, uh, one, the painting there is uh, the part two of my Isle of Wight paintings and when I see this interview there is something magical which translates, which goes through the, the screen of my computer, through the years, through the camera, the lens, and that it's very short and that we see almost nothing. He speaks, he says three sentences and that's it, and we see the, 
the place where he's supposed to play. We hear the music, which is gorgeous, but we hear barely a few notes and the magical is there. So um, I've been asked to do this translation uh, and I accepted right away because I thought that I could speak also about what I'm feeling when I watch this. Uh, beside the fact that he seems so nice and so yes uh, sympathetic uh, when he's talking and funny uh, not, not that he says something funny he, he's just very pleasant to to watch uh, and to listen to but beside that the magical the music yeah we can tell that he was influenced by uh, Pink Floyd and I will talk about that later, maybe in another video, but I think that at a point uh, Pink Floyd was where they were influenced by Markovic and Tok Tok for something. I will tell you that later. I'm sorry that my video will be probably shorter than usual. As I was saying, I'm moving, but I'm still on my tomorrow started painting. I will show you when I will be further. But I certainly don't forget Tok Tok and Marcolis because I'm at the very beginning of my work. So no way that I end that now. And it will make in November one year. One year of magical music. I'm not bored at all. I, I'm very glad that I did that and I have no intentions to stop. And if people think that I'm crazy, <laughs> that a little obsessed about Tok Tok and Marcolis, uh, yes, probably I am. Who cares? Bye-bye, <laughs> see you.